YouTube family, we're here. We're still on this Derek Jackson situation. So, so basically, um, I don't know if you guys have seen the videos already. Derek Jackson put out an apology for cheating, and in the video, he was holding his wife hostage. He was holding his wife hostage. So, um, in this video, we're going to react to. We're going to react to Derek Jackson reacting to his own apology. So he made a video apologizing, and then he made a video and reacting to his apology. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Mad, oh, mad, mad, mad. So we're just gonna watch it now. Um, we're gonna come back and react. Let's watch it. Your own willpower, your own values. You have to have the grace of God uh, to break free from certain things, to stay away from certain things, uh, to not operate from your lowest self, whatever it may be. So. When I looked in the comments of this video, uh, I don't know if old boy was trolling or not, but he said, D, I think I want to see a reaction to this video. So let's do it. And by the way, I'm gonna speak in third person. Um, a lot of you already seen this, but this is Derek Jackson. Um, a lot of people think of him as a relationship expert and guru and all of that. Well, he and his wife are making this video because apparently at some point in their marriage or maybe even beforehand in the relationship, he didn't take his own advice and he stepped out and he got involved with other women as you heard them say. Now, upon first impression, nothing really stuck out to me about him, but more so about the wife. Like I heard her say that she stands with her husband. She's proud to love him. Um, I heard her say that, you know, this is some time ago. They've already processed this, overcame this, dealt with this a long time ago and nothing's really new to her but just by her body language I was really wondering like did he force her to do this video like she looks super uncomfortable like she doesn't want to be there but then I watched their live chat that they did right afterwards and you know I kind of caught that this is just a part of her personality so that kind of explains somewhat of her demeanor you know she clearly has a mind of her own if you saw the live chat too and she said that the live chat even was her idea um, so with that cool she wants to stand by her husband she feels like he's worth it she has that right now as far as what he said I understand and I, and I completely applaud him taking accountability because too many times we see dudes and they got this sob story about how they was raised and you know they broke in home and the goldfish died and they never seen a marriage and all that. He didn't do that. He just took accountability. But I hope he understands that all the accountability in the world is not going to rebuild broken trust. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. So, so in, the, in the video, was saying that um, somebody commented I'd like to see a reaction I'd like to see you react to this that's what he basically said and only God knows if that's true or not so people can just use that to cover up themselves because you know most people are thinking why are you reacting to your own apology like why you is this something odd about it like it seems like you're doing it for clouds or something or something it's just seems like if it's a genuine apology, like it should just be there, just leave it as it is. That's what I, I'm thinking as well. well some people it's different, it's, I don't understand, but you, you apologize and then you're making it. It's trying to it seems like he's doing damage control though. Damage control. It seems like that's what he's doing. He put a sincere apology across and it's even I think he mentioned that his wife was aware that he was going to do the apology that she had a mind for herself he didn't force her blah 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 it's just damage control at the end of the day you know that's, that's how I see it just trying to reduce the damage and limit the damage and, and yeah it's just I don't know because because if you really you're really sorry truly sorry I don't think you need to come and react to your own well each, each to their own no each to their own. At the end of the day, nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect, you know. But when you hear advice or when you see something, you have to take everything with a pinch of salt. That's what my mother told me. Take stuff with a pinch of salt. You don't carry the whole salt and put it on your food. Like, small, 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 small. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's just a, it's a quick video. You guys, comment down your thoughts. Comment down what you think. Comment down what you're thinking. And like, comment, share, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace and love. We yeah, we 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 yeah, we global now, baby. <laughs> oh my days.